So we're doing another walking tour video and today we're touring Poperingen and I'm taking you to some of my favorite places and I have some funny little stories to share with you guys and the first story that I'm going to share with you has to do with this huge green statue that we're walking towards that's in the middle of this roundabout here. When I first moved to Belgium and we came to Poperingen we saw this huge green statue here and here's the thing i really didn't question it because throughout france and belgium and we traveled through spain you have artwork in the roundabouts and really sometimes the artwork is stunning um there's this roundabout uh going to france from belgium that has these metal cutouts that look uh, like puppets and it's just it's stunning I really like it but then there's this other roundabout that has this this metal statue of a horse except it's like the bones of a horse and so it just looks really really creepy and so I just assume that this was some like abstract thing in Poperingen. Like, I thought it was just a gigantic artichoke. And I just assumed that I was too stupid to understand the meaning of the artichoke. So I didn't question it. And guys, it took me a freaking year. And it shouldn't have taken me that long because there were clues, guys, to what the artichoke actually was. But we're gonna take a break. Okay, these stores here. The yellow one is the best fresh fruit and soup, and the gray one at the end is the second best fry shop in Poperingen. And yeah, if you're in Poperingen, be sure to check those out because I, I recommend them. They're great. Anyway, going back to the gigantic artichoke and not knowing about it for a whole year, and I, I can't believe, like, Honestly, this is really embarrassing that I didn't put like the two and two together to figure out that it was supposed to be a hop. And it makes so much sense. And I had to be told that for it to like get into my head. And it was like, oh, oh, you know what? That makes so much sense. Because like, see, look, there's a sign for the hop museum. We have the hop museum. We have the hop festival. Poperingen specifically is known for its hops. If you buy beers and they'll say Belgian hops, then you have an 88%, or not 88, but an 80% chance that those hops came from Poperingen because that's what Poperingen is known for, is its hops. And <laughs> like, I love that statue now because for the longest time, I just thought it was an artichoke. And I thought, well, I like artichokes. And now that I know it's a hop, like, I just, I love it so much more. But yeah, that's, <laughs> I can't believe I thought it was an artichoke for like a year. Oh, Catherine, you should, you should know better. Okay, so second story is Prince Charming and I went to this restaurant that I'm showing you here. And I can't remember why we went there because we normally don't go out for lunch together. See, looky, there I am, you can see my reflection. And I've been like really trying to figure out why we were at lunch that day. And that's not the important part of the story, it's not. But like, have you ever had those things like, why were we at lunch together? Because we never meet up for lunch. It must have been something, I don't know. But that place has the best mac and cheese I've ever had. And what makes it so just incredible is that I honestly can't recommend any other place where you could find mac and cheese because it's just it's not like a dish that I've come across too often in Europe and I, I'm sure that they have it some places it's just I've never found it like mac and cheese for me is like such a staple American dish I guess that it's not, it, it wasn't exported. Like, you don't have mac and cheese in the box. In fact, uh, once Prince Charming and I first got married, I used to make lots of mac and cheese with cut up hot dogs. 
because uh, that's what I had liked. And I had to make it from scratch because I couldn't get the fake yellow cheese. Okay, now we're going to Hopsy Pops. They showed the sign. And, okay guys, Belgium keeps really weird school hours. And Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, it's from nine to four. On Wednesdays, it's a half day, and so the kids go to school from nine to five minutes till noon, and they don't eat lunch at school, so you have to give them lunch. And then on Fridays, they are out an hour early. Well, it just so happened that my kids went to Hopsy Pop on a Friday, because in Belgium, they have this thing where they have to take the kids out of school once a month to go out and like do things. And Hopsy Pops is something that the school does, I think, once or twice a year, because normally they'll go for a walk in the woods. It's really great. But this is an indoor playground. And my kids were there one Friday, and my mind just like was up in the clouds. I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but I came to get the kids and I went early because as you can see, it's in an alleyway and it's not like there's a lot of parking and so I get there and I'm thinking oh I I must be super early because nobody was there and I walk in and it's like dead nobody's there and I was thinking oh no oh no maybe I'm not early maybe I'm late and there's only my children who are asleep on the ground. They just played that hard that they fell asleep. And two teachers, and nobody else is there. Like, it, it's literally dead guys. And I'm like having a panic attack because I'm never late for any, anything. And now I, I'm that, I'm that parent that, you know, was late to pick up their kids. And I'm asking them, am I late? I, I thought it was ending at four. And they're like, no, it's Friday. It was over at three. I was like, oh my gosh. I felt so bad because they waited for over an hour for me. And oh my goodness, I, it makes me cringe to this day. But at the same time, if you're in Popperingen and you wanna wear out your kids, sending them to Hopsy Pop is the way to go because every single time my kids go to Hopsy Pop with school, they, they always fall asleep. I mean, like, I bring them home and they're just dead for the rest of the day. I mean, it's not one of these things where they wake up in the middle of the night because, you know, they, like, slept during the uh, the evening. No, I mean, like, they they fall asleep at, like, 6 and they're, they're just gone until, like, the next morning. Like, Hopsy Pops is a miracle place. But, but it's like it's just it's an indoor playground and so the kids I don't think sit sit down for two seconds It's just there's so much to do. It's great And this street here that I'm walking down. This is part of the way that I take uh, When I'm going home with my bike and I'm sort of showing you the stores Instead of just the, the road because well the roads boring. It's just it's a road you guys know what a road looks like and yeah, if you go straight for a, whole, a, a long way and then eventually you'll go right, my home's in that direction. And as you can see, like where the red is and the little like dotted line, that's the bike lane. And that's one of the things that I love about Belgium is that they have these incredible bike lanes. So like, as you can see, there's cars, but the bike lane is completely separate and Belgians are so courteous when it comes to the cyclists. It's, it's, it, it's one of those pros and cons things because I feel completely safe when I'm riding my bike and that's something that I'm not really used to because, well, I ride, I grew up riding a bike in the US where I just assume that the cars want to hit and kill me and you don't have that in Belgium. Now, the con of that is, is people are very confident on their bikes and sometimes they do really stupid things like not bothering to put their lights on, even though that is a law. You are supposed to have lights on your bike if it's dark, but there are people who don't and I have seriously almost hit some people because I did not 
see them on their bike because it was winter, it was dark, and those idiots didn't have their lights on. So put your freaking lights on your bike. Ha! Ah. Yeah, that's um that's my little rant for the cyclists. Ha! Ah. But yeah, this is like it's a really nice area. This is where all the stores are. It's not downtown. This this part is there's a circle that's incomplete around Poperingen, and within the circle is where downtown is. But yeah, this is this is just a nice little area because it has some nice little places that you can visit. It has the great Hopsy Pops, it has my favorite roundabout, and it has the second best fry shop, and that great uh, shop where you can get fresh soup and fresh fruits and vegetables if you want to eat something. So that was my walk. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any suggestions for like future topics that I can ramble on about when I'm doing these types of videos, I'd greatly appreciate it. Tote scenes, my apple zines.